Do you think that Victor is worthy of the best prospect since LeBron? That's a lot of pressure on a player. Oh, I think for sure. Um, you know, just his sheer size is compelling to see him. Um, I saw a picture of him with David Robinson and Tim Duncan, and he makes them look like they're they're really small. <laughs> but his length, his reach, but he's got he's got something special about him. I guess it would be like if you walked into a store and there were three pairs of shoes there, only one of them would catch your eye. And he is going to catch your eye. That's for sure. And I think being with the Spurs, Greg, Greg Popovich, and the, the people who have run this franchise successfully for years, they'll do a fantastic job with him, getting him ready to play at the highest level. And remember, he's, what, 19 years old? I mean, my goodness, he could play till he's, these players play down to their 35, 36, 37. And so it's going to be, I'm anxious. I'm actually anxious to watch him grow as myself. And yet our friend Shaquille O'Neal says, I would love to be on the, on the court with him. He's like, he, we were talking about it recently. He said, I would love to get out there because the evolution of the big man has changed. Clearly, we're seeing a lot of big <clears throat> men who can do a lot more things than Shaquille could do, even though if I... I would tell him that to his face, and he'd probably be annoyed, but that's okay. I can take it. <laughs> well, but, I, 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 you know, Shaquille and I uh, still keep in touch. And, again, I love that guy. He's just a wonderful person, and he has time for everyone. Um, and when you get to know him, the one thing you don't realize is just how darn big he is. Not in height, but he is, like, proportionate. I saw a picture of him with uh, Wilt Chamberlain and um, – or no, with Will Chamberlain and Bill Russell, I believe. Um, and he just, if you look at him, standing there t- together, from a distance you would say that Shaquille is so much taller than He's not. He's like an oak tree. You, know, you put him in the ground, he's not going to move. But I, I complimented the last time I, uh, we uh, uh, text, and I complimented him. I said, you're in better shape now than you ever... <laughs> or when you played, he's lost a lot of weight. He oh, I told really him the same good. thing. He was so mad at me. I said, you you look really good. You, you don't look as chunky as you did when you were playing. He's like, I was never chunky. You saw me in the locker room and said, you were chunky. He was well, like, you got to kid him. Chunky. Have fun with him. <laughs> you have to you have to say to, to his face, like, Shaquille, yeah. you were a little chunky. You must have a good story or two from back I in the day. I have a lot of good ones about <laughs> him. It's I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not sure they're susceptible to be on the air, but <laughs> I, I, I do remember the first game that he was supposed to play in Los Angeles, he was ready to go and healthy. And we were going to play against the Utah Jazz. Okay. And Utah had really good teams. And I see him and all of a sudden I look up and he's walking down there on the court and he shoves or slaps Greg Ostertag. (laughs) I said, my gosh, what in the world is he doing? And so the league suspended him for a game. I should kill. I said, you, you know, you're going to be a player that these fans are going to love in Los Angeles. And for the first game of the season at home, you're not going to play? And he apologized like he always would do. There's other incidents he went into. And I, th- I think he was embarrassed by it. I really do. But Ostertag has had said something about him that um, doesn't resonate very well with him. And I remember another time he gets kicked out of the game, and I go into the locker room to see how he was, and he had torn the doors off of a, the restroom areas that that are protected. He said to me, oh, I'll be happy to pay for it. I said, no, I want to pay for this. And I said, no, 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 you can't pay for it. But how in the world can someone be this strong to, to rip these doors off? I, I mean, it was it was crazy. But he, he is a fun guy, a really fun guy. He kept it light and airy, um, and particularly in a grueling NBA season, 82 games. And, you know, some kids come into the league, and it's really funny, Susie, they come into the league, and their college team might lose one or two games. Hell, they might lose five straight games, and they're not used to it. So they have to learn how to participate in the league also. And... Um, he was, he, he's, I don't know if I've ever had a more favorite player around than him. 
Hello everyone, I spend a lot of time trying to get you guys nice videos, so please subscribe to this page, and please subscribe to my second page. The link to my second page is in the description section. Thank you.